Mr. Lowe's. What are you doing, Mr. Lowe's? Mr. Lowe's. Mr. Lowe's. Oh, hello. I'm Mr. Lowe's. Can you see up in that tree there's an owl? They're also called the book book or the mopoke. Is that real? Mr. Lowe's, is that real? There's an Aboriginal Dreamtime story about the owl. Let's go and read it. Gawambana. That means welcome in Wiradjuri language. Wiradjuri is the name of the Aboriginal nation that my family come from. Geelang means story. Just read the Geelang Do you know that there are over 500 different Aboriginal nations in Australia? And they all have their own languages and dialects. Before I read this story, I would like you to please sit down be silent and listen. Dore means please. Winya means sit down. Mugua means silent. And Wurugabanya means listen. So, Dore Winya, please sit down. Mugua, be silent. Wurugabanya, listen as I read this Gilang or story. Dore Winya, Mugawa, Wurugabinya, as I read this, Gilan. There's a lot of words to learn. Yal Bilinya means learn. Yal Bilinya. Oh, just read the Gilan, Mr. Before I read this story, I need to spin my sign. Mr. Dunby, the owl. An Aboriginal story told by Daisy Udamora, compiled by Pamela Lofts. Mr. Lowe's! Done Be the Owl, an Aboriginal story told by Daisy Udamora, compiled by Pamela Lofts. In the time before time began, a tribe of people lived on their land near the coast. Every day, the children would play beside the river. Look what I've found! called a boy from high up in a tree. It was Dunby, the first owl. The boy tossed the owl out of the tree. The children grabbed Dunby and bounced him into the air. They pulled out his feathers. They bounced him up again. Then they stuck sharp blades of spinifex grass into him. They threw him up once more. Go on, use your new wings. Let's see you fly now, Owl. Higher and higher went Dunby, till he disappeared over the clouds. The children waited. Then they heard a roar. Wanaliri, the great Wangina, saw what they had done to Dunby, his son. Wanaliri shook with rage. He commanded the lizard to paint himself and dance about the plains, and gather up all the clouds. The angry Wangina blew a great wind, and thunder rolled around the clouds, and lightning split the sky. It rained and rained and rained. And the flood reached all the people below. They tried to escape, but it was too late. They all drowned in the swirling water. All, that is, except for one man and one woman who grabbed the tail of a kangaroo. They clung to the kangaroo as it swam, till it reached high ground. There they climbed to safety, and the man and the woman became the first of the new tribe. So that we were born, so we go on being born. And still today, we are forbidden to harm owls, because we remember what happened in that long ago time. What a great story. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did.
When naming animals, the Aboriginal people name them based on the way they look, sound or move. For example, the night owl is commonly called the mopo because of the sound it makes. Mopo! Mopo! In Wiradjuri language, the owl is called the book book. This is how it sounds when played on the didgeridoo. See how it sounds like the owl? I hope you learned something from this video. See you next time. If you would like to learn more Wiradjuri language, this is the app that I'm using.